All right, we're down here at the garage. Welcome to Top Garage. Today, we have finished painting the F-350. It came out amazing, and I'm gonna show you the exact steps and processes that we took to make it look like that. Alrighty, thank you guys for tuning in today. If you end up liking the video, be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button, join the family. But actually, as it turns out, this truck is for sale. This truck is currently for sale. So if you want this, you can hit the first link in the description, check it out. We're actually, uh, we actually had so much fun um, doing this truck that we're gonna make room for another project. So this one's gotta go. We're gonna get another project and keep them rolling. So enjoy the video. All right, so JB's uh, assembling the truck. Now what we did was we tried to keep this super like cheap and DIY, but still try to get a professional result. So first off, we used all Harbor Freight sandpaper. All of this like Hercules stuff just went there, got whatever sandpaper. We used 600 and 800 the most just to scuff the entire panel. So we were using two, two main sanders. They have like a $45 one of these, and then this one's like $100. We blew out the $45 one. Um, so I just said screw it. We'll just get the the better one and this one works uh, works a lot better So basically I prepped the panel after we got all the mud taken care of um, And we I took 600 over the entire entire panel So 600 over that entire bedside, you know front to back any spot that was a little funky as like a chip or something I kind of faded out further into the paint, you know, try to fade it as much as possible. Put filler if needed, but if I, if it didn't need filler, I just left it. Any bare metal, we went around with etching primer and etched the, any, any bare metal just to make sure that was all sealed off. Then we took basic primer over certain spots that needed primered, uh, mainly where the mud was and where any type of etching primer was. I just went over with an additional, just regular sealer primer. So our initial plan was to hide the paint line in the body line here, this hard body line. These Super Duties, they have this kind of aggressive line where it looks like a fender flare, but it's like built into the body. So we tried to hide the paint line in there. Um, did a did one coat didn't really like how it looked couldn't really get it blended out properly just just skill level lacking so we just decided to shoot the whole panel because it was actually way easier with minimal more paint so after the 600 I took 800 all and over the entire panel um, scuffed it up pretty good I didn't make sure to burn through in any areas that didn't need burn through on um, just to make covering easier. So we did pull FX4 stickers. I don't know. I figured we'd probably just do it the right way, pull the stickers, paint it, and then put the stickers back on. So the stickers are actually at home. We forgot those. So when it came time to mask, I just got a big roll because we're planning on painting some other stuff also. I got a huge roll of the PPG plastic. One side's paintable, one side's not paintable. We learned that the hard way also. It says it right on it, so just make sure you paint the side that says paintable. Paint this side. Paint just flakes off the other side. Uh, mask the truck, you've seen that in the beginning of the video. That's pretty straightforward, nothing special there. Now comes time for the actual paint. So you can, you can get away with using a Harbor Freight gun. Now the Harbor Freight gun is literally $15. The only thing that I would put on here is a regulator because you need one of those. We got the uh, Iwata Kiwami 4. This was uh, like 200 bucks or something. Um, it's an entry level gun. I ran the fluid and the fan both wide open and I ran it right around like 28 PSI, uh, both for base and for clear coat. Um, I did get the uh, 3M PPS system with the, the, the cup adapter and the whole liner deal, which is totally unnecessary to get a good job. I'm just showing you like kind of everything we used. But yeah, this gun worked very well. I'm not gonna lie. This is my first ever time using a paint gun. First ever time painting a vehicle with a paint gun. We've always just tried the rattle can stuff and it never came out good. So that's why we're using these. And it, it made it like super easy. Nothing else really to say about that. Paint. We went to a commercial auto body supply. Now this is kind of, I guess, I guess you can go good or bad here with paint. Like that can kind of screw you up if you get some crappy paint. Uh, local auto body supply, we went down there, got the Omni Plus. This is like a mid-grade commercial professional level paint by PPG. Omni Plus MBP. Uh, color code was UJ for the Sterling Gray on the uh, 11 Super Duty. Uh, we used three pints of base color, three pints of these, actually probably to two and a quarter because there's a little bit left in this one a little bit left in the other one it was it was very hot when we were painting like up over 80 so i used a extra slow or a slow reducer moving to clear we use the omni plus mc161 which is just a regular clear and then their hardener that goes with the clear i think i used just under two quarts of the clear on the, on the all that 
I do want to go back and say that I use the gray scuff pad. This is like equal to an 800 grit. I use this over the whole panels, um, all in all the curved crevices and stuff where you can't really get to with your DA sanders or whatever. So this, these came in big. I used a ton of these. Um, so initially when we tried to run the paint edge, the seam, the line in that body line, we were going to use some 3M soft edge foam tape, um, which I did use this on the top side of the fender over there just to get it, um, just because I didn't want a hard line going into the part where the F350 emblem is. So we put a, I put a soft edge line just on the top of the fender and it, and it worked out super good. You can't even see a line over there. And the filler we used was a feather right with their hardener. Didn't use too, too much of this because everything was pretty good, you know, where it was. There was just a couple little low spots where we sanded it down a little more to get all the rust out. And then um, just glazed that over and we were done. So you can see, you can see in here is where it, right, I ran my, my soft edge right along this backside. Um, we could wet sand this just a smidge right there just to get a little better, but you can't really feel it with your finger. You can kind of see it right there um, just to make sure that disappears. Now we'll move into the compressor side of things. We just have a Dewalt 60 gallon in the back with three quarter inch pecs coming down to a air water separator over there with a regulator. Um, we're actually due to change the beads in there. They're red. Once they turn red, you got to change them. They started off blue or purple or whatever they were. Um, I didn't run any type of filter on the gun itself, just straight to the regulator. That's a 3M regulator. But I did hook up a high flow fitting on there and a high flow fitting on the actual hose too. All right, so here it is. This is the second coat of base coat. This is after two coats. First coat was a light coat just to cover up some primer and stuff. And then the second coat was more of an, more of an even out coat um, just to get even coverage of the, of the color. Um, it went on very, very well. Super happy with how it went on. Yeah, pumped. Okay, so now we're getting the clear coat here. This is after the two coats of base. Now we're getting into clear. Um, this is first coat of clear. This is a uh, fluid wide open, fan wide open, um, pressure at like 28, right around 28 PSI. And we are just letting the, it have it. I mean, it is super foggy. Our exhaust fan could not keep up as you can see. Um, and there you go, finished product. This is after two coats of clear coat. Um, second coat laid it on pretty heavy. Um, and it looks absolutely unfreaking believable. This is my first ever time painting anything. And um, I, I genuinely think it went pretty good. So what you can see here is what it looked like before. Now on the back side of every fender on the truck was was a was a uh, initially a paint chip and it just spread and then there was surface rust and the paint kept chipping. So that was on every fender and we couldn't just let that ride. And you know, we had to fix that. And um, it came out freaking awesome and I'm pumped. Wow, dude. That was beautiful. So here's the uh, passenger bedside. Just took it off. Here's the blend. So technically on a, on a realistic professional job, you would have took this blend and you would have blended it halfway into here to match the colors. But we, you know, obviously being a DIY situation, we did not do that. We just took and we, we ended our, our paint here and the color matches. I mean, like, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, can it get any really closer than that? I'm sure there's going to be a professional body guy saying, yeah, that don't match, but dude, we paint, so we painted the, the driver's side bedside. We painted the driver's side fender. Um, so here's, here's a really quick thing. What I wanted to do initially was I wanted to hide the paint line inside of this body line. I wanted to paint from here to here. I wanted to hide, just, just paint this because there, there was huge, huge paint chips here that were rusting and that were getting all nasty and stuff. So I, I just wanted to paint as minimal as possible. I didn't want to paint the whole bed and take off the FX4 stickers and do the whole process. You know what I mean? So I tried to hide the line in here, but my, my body skills, my paint skills are brand new. This is our first time ever painting. We, we don't have the skills to hide a, a paint line in, in a body line like that, that good. So what we ended up doing is painting this entire bedside. Passenger side fender, didn't hide it in the line. We did the whole fender. We did it all to the edge. And like I said previously, the professional job would have took this and blended it into here to get your blend, but we didn't do that. And you can see the difference is borderline non-existent. So DIY blend straight to the panel edge.
and then we did the whole passenger side bedside you know edge to edge and you can see if we have a color difference there we do not all right guys we got her buttoned up the last piece of the puzzle is the fx4 stickers but we forgot those at the house we're going to get those on here shortly so what we did to tie up the truck is we put in the rough country uh, plastic fender liners which it makes the back look look way cleaner um, I went through and hit the hit the leaf packs and everything with fluid film black um, So it really kind of ties it all in it looks clean. Uh, we had to replace a few light bulbs There's a couple turn signals out front and rear um, hit some fluid film black up in the front fender liner fender well and the truck is about Freaking just about done. It was it was kind of a long process. We ran into a lot of a lot of different hiccups and different little situations that kind of made it a pain, but you know, we got it. JB's just finishing up on the rear uh, mud flaps and getting the fender liner in. And we're gonna pull this thing out and see how it looks in the sunlight, which it should look pretty good. I'm pretty excited. All right, guys, there you go. 2011 F350, nice, easy makeover. Now everything's addressed on the truck. You know, it's, it's, it's ready to go. We have the front end fixed. We did oil change, fuel filters. Painted the rust, went a little overboard with the paint personally, but it looks freaking good. I don't know if I put the FX4 on. Leave it no debadged. Still got the big tip. But there's the color match in the daylight. No real difference at all. It's pretty cool, pretty happy. Actually super happy with that dude. Whoa. That's it for today. If you have any questions on the paint, let me know. I'll try to answer whatever questions you may have on, you know, if, if I use this or how I did that. Um, it was fairly straightforward. If you guys are interested in painting your stuff, I would go check out Paint Society YouTube channel. That guy is freaking killer. Everything that I did on this truck was, was from that YouTube channel. Um, information's out there. You just got to look for it. This came out very good. And I'm pretty happy with it. Guys, hit the uh, link in the description for hats. We got the hats. We just got about 150 back in stock. They go pretty quick. So if you guys want one, don't wait because they're going to sell out pretty fast. Um, it's a Generation 2 style hat where we got um, some 3D puff on the MD and on the uh, stripes. So it looks pretty cool. But all right, shameless plug out. We are done. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Uh, guys, uh, we forgot to do one thing. We uh, forgot to straighten the steering wheel after we put the correct length truck bar in. So we got a little bit of a uh, situation. Ah, no biggie. We'll fix it. <laughs>